Well, hi guys, welcome back. So in this lesson, what we're going to try and do is put some engraving on this part of the pot here. All right, so that's the plan. I'll just write my name and perhaps just draw a simple shape just to demonstrate. So let me get my view correct. So I'm here on the front plane. Okay, now the steps, let's go through this. First thing, I need to find the right plane. So when I click on the right plane, I can see that that's here. I've got to create another plane so I can view the, the pot from over here where I'm moving the mouse now. So to do that, let me move that plane here. Hold the control key down. I'll click on that with the left mouse button. Now clicking and dragging and dragging and moving that across to here. That will do me and that's just going to give me a perspective that I can use to view from. I'll click to tick that. That's what I'd like to do. Now when I press Control and 8 to orient my view, it actually spins the pot around so I'm looking at it from the opposite side, the wrong side. So if I was to press Control 8 again, it spins the pot 180 degrees and gives me the view that I would like. Alright, that's one of the steps that we need to make. Another step that we need to make is what we're going to do is we're going to create an extra surface inside this, this space here inside this this vertical space all right uh, so to do that what I need to do is go to um, insert insert so a toolbar if you can't see that a toolbar we just click on that little arrow there or hover over that arrow insert surface and this is going to be an offset surface Click on Offset. Now I need to, uh, the, the program needs me to specify which surface I'm going to offset. So I'll click on the surface. This is the one I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy that outside surface and I'm going to lay that inside that, that solid wall. So I've clicked on that. Now how far do I want to offset? In other words, how far away from the space that I've clicked to want to go? All right, so first of all, you can see the yellow uh, space, the, the yellow part of the screen. That's indicating where this will go. I don't want the offset to go in that direction. I want to flip the offset direction. And I also need to specify how many millimeters I want this offset to be. So the number of millimeters that I enter here is going to be how deep my engraving goes. From memory, I've set the thickness of these walls here to be 10 millimeters. So I'm just going to make the, the, the engraving just go in maybe a tenth or a fifth or 10 percent, 15 percent, 20 percent of the way in, in through, through that wall. So I will just make this space here, I will just say three millimeters and I'll click OK. All right, now notice here. On my tree, I can see that surface offset one. That's what that, that is there, that surface offset one. So that surface, I can just see that blue line in there. All right, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to use that a little, in, in a little bit of time. Let me just uh, orient my view again, Control-8, whoopsie daisy. Let me click on the, the, the plane that I want to view through, Control-8, okay. All right, now what I'm going to do is, is uh, several things. First of all, let me just place some writing. I just want to place my name on, on this space here. So to do that, I'm going to go to Sketch. Uh, now there's several ways that we can do this. The way I'll show you is I'm going to use the line tool, but I click on the arrow next to the line. I pull down that box there and I want the center line. I'm going to draw myself a center line. Now, the, the pot's just spun around, so let me reorient that, Control-8. Okay, now I'll just go, I'm just going to write my name up here. So this is the line where my, my name will appear. So I will just uh, pop that click here, and I'm going to go across to, to there. All right, now the, uh, the pencils follow me, break that line. All right, very good. Now, let me just click on that, that line. Okay, now that line has been clicked on and selected. 
what I want to do is I want to place some text there. So I'll now click on text and I'll type the text that I would like to appear there. Just, uh, I might need to, you might need to just adjust that. The text might be upside down or back to front. You can orient the text the way you'd like it. Okay. I might want to make the text a little bit bigger. So rather than using the document font, I might select font from here. And I will make it a little bit larger. So I'm going to set the dimensions in either points or in, in units. Let me just use points because that's the way I've been doing it. 20 point. I can always change that if that's too small. That seems just about right. Perhaps I could make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. I'm satisfied with that. Let me select to OK that text. All right. OK, now we want to just take away that line. We don't need that line anymore. So I've zoomed in. I've clicked on that line. Actually, I didn't click on that properly. Let me click on that line. Click on that line and I'll press the delete key to delete the line. All right. Okay. So now let me get that text there. That's what I've got here. Okay. So what I would like to do now is extrude that text kind of like let's have a look here so i need to go up here to features and what i want to do is i want to okay i'm not going to i want to extrude the cut i want to cut through that first layer i want to cut through this uh this part of the surface until i get to that that offset layer that i they placed in before so extrude cut all right now, let me just adjust a few things. First of all, the extrusion at the moment you can see is pointing outwards. I don't want it to be coming, I don't want to extrude out. I need to switch the direction. So it needs to be going in. I want to sketch, I want to extrude from the sketch plane up to surface. And then I need to specify which surface I'm going to extrude up to. Click up to surface. All right. Now, which surface is it? So I'm going to click in here. Now what I need to do is I need to somehow find that surface. The way I'll find the surface is by clicking on this tree over here. And remember that that surface that I created was this surface offset one. When I click there in the tree, I see that it appears here. All right. And so that's going to cut through that solid until it gets to that hidden surface. I'll click tick. Okay, that. And there we have it. Okay, so I've got that, that text in there. All right, let me just uh, do another one very, very quickly. Okay, I'll just place a shape underneath that. Okay, so I'll go to sketch. Uh, just a simple shape. I'll just place a rectangle, corner rectangle. This just demonstrates what we want to do. I need to specify where I'm going to draw that rectangle. I'm going to draw it on this plane. Okay, I'll click here. Here. All right. Let's say I'm happy with that. That's all done. I'll come back here to features. And now remember that what I want to do is I want to extrude cut that. So extrude cut. Okay. I want to cut, uh, extrude it from the sketch plane. And the direction has got to be going towards the pot. Okay. And now I don't want to, uh, I, I go from the sketch plane, but I need to come up to a surface. And now I need to specify which surface that was. I'll click in here and specify the surface is the surface offset. Okay. Uh, and I will click OK. And there we can see that 
we've got. Those two things by name and a shape. Uh, engraved. Cool.